Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe one more time, but this time I'll be focusing on the new content exclusive to the Ultra Deluxe version. If you haven't checked out the Stanley Parable at all, you can check out my mini one minute-ish spoiler free review at this card that should hopefully appear here. Now, the Stanley Parable is a game that very much should just kind of be played to truly enjoy it, so aside from any ending footage, there will be possible spoilers ahead in terms of what's actually included in the new content. However, this pretty much assumes you've played the main content already. Having said that, is the new content worth it? Let's dive in and talk about it. Graphically, the new content is just as clean looking as the original content. It retains the portal vibe still, and you'll actually still see many of the same locations that you saw in the original content. Because this started as a Half-Life 2 mod, it definitely has that sort of clean Half-Life or Portal vibe, but there's still a couple blurry textures here and there, for example text you might see on a coffee mug or on the walls. Actual character models in the game are very few and far between, and there's also some plants and one particular fern that you might find yourself staring at, which isn't super impressive from a technical standpoint, but also doesn't destroy the fun or intrigue of the game. There's a few blurry textures on walls, but again, this is nothing that breaks the fun of the game for me. You'll see Stanley himself on occasion, and perhaps somewhat fittingly, he looks like a pretty casual guy you might find in an office. Stanley controls just as fluidly as ever, and it's very easy to walk around the office and manipulate the camera in the first person view to see where you're going. There's actually a move that's added here in the new content also, you can actually jump in the new content. Although it's for a limited number of times, it's nothing super impressive and so far it seems to have served as more of a joke than anything else, though I found it pretty amusing. The narrator, Kevin Brighting, is once again phenomenal as the narrator and even more amusingly is very self-aware of the new content, which is hilariously marked by a door labeled New Content. When you first go through the new content door, you'll come across a few concepts as the narrator ponders about such concepts like the jump circle, literally an enclosed circle that you have a limited number of jumps you can perform in, and only inside the circle, at least that I've seen so far. Since it's the Stanley Parable, I'm sure there's a hundred more secrets to find. The game takes it upon itself to get pretty meta from there, with the narrator contemplating how silly the concept of Ultra Deluxe even is, and delightedly announces that you're about to set foot in the Stanley Parable 2. Here you'll step out into an expo convention center-like setting with different exhibits where the narrator will demonstrate how these concepts work in the Stanley Parable 2. There's the button that says the name of the player, that is if your name happens to be Jim. There's an infinite hole advertise which was one of my favorites, an advertisement for collectibles that have no reward. However, and I say this as a non-completionist, try to get all the figurines as you definitely will extend your gameplay and options from there. All of the exhibits in Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall are extremely amusing as this sort of game within a game concept, and although I really had a great time exploring in this little museum style place, and hearing the new bits of voiceover here and there, and seeing how I could mess with the narrator, does it really feel like an actual sequel? To me, no, not really, as the Stanley Parable 2 quote unquote office you walk through on the way to the expo seem to be just a hallway to the actual expo hall. I found that the real meat of this so-called Stanley Parable 2 came in the form of the Reassurance Bucket, an item that is supposed to be a security blanket of sorts for Stanley. However, once you go through all of the exhibits here and you get a fancy new title screen in the style of the Stanley Parable 2, or possibly 3, 4, 5, or 14, etc., or however many times you end up beginning the game again, you'll really just be going through the original Stanley Parable map again, but with a few nuances like some balloons around the office and the actual bucket being on the way to the meeting room that you can pick up. Interestingly, you can take the bucket with you on the same paths you did before, but if you're holding the bucket, this will open up various new endings and dialogue from the narrator. This easily extended my gameplay by probably a total of another 8-10 to 10 hours, and while I had a lot of fun exploring these new endings, at the same time, I was a little disappointed in that this was more of a pseudo-sequel to me than an actual Stanley Parable 2, especially since they showed off the new office, only to have me back in the original office map, but with a bucket this time. Maybe they were trying to make a statement on my personal greed, or maybe they just thought they were clever, but either way, I would have loved to have seen a new map. But despite my slight disappointment, that didn't stop me from having a really fun time with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, or if you prefer, the Stanley Parable 2. Now if you need to pick up some guns if you see a first person view, this game probably isn't going to be for you, but if you want a mind bending experience with the ability to write the story as you go along and taunting the narrator trying to tell the story, then I'd highly recommend checking out the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe.
Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, help out by clicking subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know your thoughts on the Stanley Parable or anything you're playing at the moment, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, everybody. It's bucket time. Da, 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 da.